monkey out of me.
<sighs> wow, I thought the rest of the ship was cold. Those heat exchanger columns must keep the hot air out. That's why it's so cold in here. The hybrid are weakened by heat. Well, at least nobody's home. I can just activate the last of the autopilot panels and be on my way. And those panels must be... On the ceiling? I guess I have to start thinking in zero gravity terms. Maybe that switch does something that allows the crew to get to those ceiling controls. You? So it is you who has been tampering with our vessel. The impure creatures of this planet cause much trouble for such an obviously inferior race. And you, Ben Tennyson, are the most troublesome of all. Yeah, that's what all my teachers used to say when I was a kid. But I'm pretty likable once you get to know me. Insolent creature, you shall pay the price for meddling in the affairs of superior beings. If I can find a way to expose the hybrid to heat, it might slow him down. Do not activate that control! You cannot escape me! That weather array is offline. Permanently. <laughs> your actions only serve to prove the inferiority of your species. Removing this vessel from the circuitry grid does not deactivate the weather array. The ship's departure initiates the startup sequence. <laughs> oh boy. You see? might have set back our plans the last time we encountered you. But this time, it is you who have set our plans in motion. You gathered the components needed for our weather array, and you made sure the array was activated in a timely manner. And now... Now, you will watch as your people slowly freeze to death as our weather array makes this portion of your planet suitable for habitation by the one true race! Oh no! What have I done? I've got to get over to the weather array and help Gwen and Kevin destroy that thing before it's too late. <laughs> 